So this is the next job I'm going to do. It's a radiator out of a Escort that Scott's doing. Um, once it's pulled apart, checked and cleaned, so I'll pull it apart, I'll give it a clean, put it back together and make it look all nice and new again for him. Right, so you can see inside, looks like it's been sitting around for a while, there's a bit of dirt and stuff in there. So I will uh, clean it up and uh, put some water through it, right out all the tubes and put it back together. So in the uh, time lapse video you would have seen I went round twice. The first time I went round I was scraping all the solder, the old solder and chunks of dirt and stuff out of the channel. The second time I went round I was tinning up the channel, making it all nice and smooth, all ready for the tank to be soldered back on. So I've given the, uh, the top tank a bit of a quick clean up. So I'll, uh, I'll tin that up now and then I'll uh, solder it back onto the core. For those of you that saw the video before of me chopping up some cheap corking guns, this is uh, this is why this is what I use them for. So I've got those, and I use them now for clamps, and that uh, puts nice even pressure on the tank. So there's a nice tight seal on the tank and the channel of the core. So here we go, we've got that radiator ready to go. Uh, you'll have to excuse the improvised testing plugs. I'm still waiting on my testing plugs to turn up, so I've just got some rubber plugs in there duct taped in, but um, it'll do for this job. Put some pressure in there. And we stick it in and we uh, check for any leaks around the tubes or it cracks in the tanks. No leaks around the end tube, which is good. No 
add crunch in the tanks. Which is also good. So um, it tested all good, so I'll give it a bit of a scrub and a clean up, put it out to dry, give it a flick of paint and it'll be ready to go back.